Hello everyone, my name is Jika Reister and I want to show you today a new feature for the BLK3D that was recently released and that's the imaging group. So what you're seeing now in the background is a short video that I made where I'm processing the 3D images from BLK3D in directly in the Agisoft software. So the whole capturing process was done only with the BLK3D and this means that we didn't need to have any other, let's say, measuring equipment um, and we could get the whole scaled model just based on that one device. So in the whole database, I believe there was uh, 52, 52 photos, which means in the BLK3D, which, uh, because it has two cameras, uh, you know, each time then you take two shots. So the number of actual images is double in this case. So the whole process only took maybe five minutes um, and this was one of my first uh, attempts of actually creating a point cloud out of, uh, uh, out of photos. Which means then the next time I would do it, I would definitely, uh, you know, photograph maybe some things a bit more or some things a bit less because now I see, for example, in this, uh, in this case where I have a very good point cloud and where I have maybe some information missing. So and one more thing why this is such a cool, cool approach to the whole workflow is because it's just you need to have the BLK3D and that's it. So you don't need to have any measurement, measurement equipment and expensive ones, um, as well as, you know, you only need one person there to be. Um, in addition to that, you take images very fast. So you don't need to, you know, um, kind of a shut down the site or, you know, tell people not to do. There's very small room for error. So the processing time for this case was around, I believe, one hour, a bit more in Agisoft with everything together. So it's not that it's not it's not a lot. And what you can do at the end with this. So you have a point cloud where I also generated a mesh. Um, and in the end, you can simply so in this software, you can kind of, for example, measure. You can also export this to other softwares, um, but you would you know, in the end, you would use this model, you know, for kind of a, uh, estimations for the facades, uh, openings, um, you know, maybe just measure the sizes of the walls and things like that. For example, like a scaffold that wrote it. Um, uh, yeah, and then uh, any other things. Definitely, I'll be doing more of these things. It's very fun to do. It's very fast. Um, just one more information. The imaging room, what you're seeing now, comes as a base function for the plk 3d with the device this means you don't need to pay any extra to have it it's there by default just make sure you turn it on in the settings uh, and then it will be available for you so thank you very much hope you enjoyed the video and yeah see you soon bye bye